In observance of Indiana's bicentennial, we celebrate the past, present, and future of Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control. As our community and love of the arts and recreational activities has grown over the past 70 years, so has our love of our pets. Along with that growth came our community's need to create laws and environments to protect the many thousands of pets that became homeless. In the 1940s, the Fort Wayne Humane Society built an animal shelter on Dwanger Avenue. In a very short time, it was transitioned into the city of Fort Wayne's control as a municipal law enforcement shelter. It was volume, it required personnel and staffing, it, it needed to be treated as a business. Animal welfare in our country, and especially in the Midwest, has been a profession of extremes. During the 40s and 50s, animal shelters, including Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control, were holding facilities for any unwanted or free roaming animals due to the public safety concerns regarding rabies. Some animals were purchased at our facility, while thousands with nowhere to go were euthanized. In the late 70s, with the advent of vaccines, Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control began promoting responsible pet ownership, and the trend across the United States became humane treatment, education, and standards for all animals, including family pets and livestock. In the 80s, a small group of citizens advocated through neighborhood associations for humane euthanasia and humane housing of animals in our community, as well as asking Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control to be professionalized with staff that understood and cared for animals. During the next decade, as animal ownership increased due to the popularity of pets and annexations in various areas of Fort Wayne, staff improvements continued. In the 90s, animal advocates made a plea to city council demanding a more updated, modern facility that would be more accessible to Fort Wayne residents. In November of 1998, the new shelter was ready. As part of the updates, the City of Fort Wayne brought technology in-house, making Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control more efficient and increased the level of care the animals would receive. We have detailed notes in our computer system if the dog was brought in and they had some type of medical issue. Uh, and if we get the dog in again, we can see if that issue's been treated or if it's the same or if it's gotten worse. Make sure they take the dog to the vet, give them more warnings, maybe even a toupee or a court summons to make them follow up with their treatment of their animal. Along with that move came a 27% increase in the shelter's animal population. It also allowed for the expansion of the education, adoption, volunteer, and law enforcement programs. In late 2008, Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control began the process of expanding their training to include a higher level of criminal procedure understanding, photography, forensics, and case compilation. Animal care officers embraced their training, advancing their casework beyond where it had ever been before. Our criminal justice system is already so supportive mm -hmm. that we combine their advanced ability with their criminal investigations, along with the criminal justice system supporting what we do, and we actually increased our criminal prosecutions 493% in just three years. In 2012, Police Chief Rusty York held a commendation ceremony to recognize the Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control Enforcement Division for their expansion of investigative training and their dedication to pursuing criminal animal cruelty cases while staying committed to a high standard of service for animals and the citizens of Fort Wayne. Over the next several years, Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control increased the number of adopted pets through coalition efforts with Hope for Animals and the Allen County SPCA, allowing more pets to be spayed or neutered and adoption ready for same-day send homes from adoption facilities with additional help from area rescues. In August 2014, those same coalition efforts made changes to our city ordinance to allow for community cats. Cats, which in the past had one option, were now being sent back into the community spayed or neutered, ear-tipped for visual identification, vaccinated for rabies, and microchipped to the area from which they came. This process not only decreased the number of cats being euthanized, but also decreased the number of unwanted litters being born and brought into the shelter. As animal care and control moves forward with a team of supervisors ready to forage ahead and continue to fight animal neglect and abuse in our community, we are only limited by the ideas brought to us from our incredible staff and our wonderfully supportive citizens right here in Fort Wayne.